is, I find like the first few verses to be so depressing. David went through hell. He had so much going on in his life at the time. But I love how the story changed in verse 6 where it says, David encouraged himself. Yeah. Right. I mean, oftentimes we hear people quote that scripture in the church and we want to tell somebody, if you been encouraged yourself the way David did, like that's something easy to do. Right. Do you not know that sometimes some people are rock bottom? Right. They have no resources. Right. Backing against the wall, the wall is on their back. Everything the odds are against them. And we say that as if it's simple and easy to do. Amen. But I begin to realize something as I read, nothing really changed in David's situation that would make him believe that what was going on would work for his good. Right. Some of us go through certain situations and we have to see the light at the end of the tunnel yeah. before we can say, okay, God, I trust you. Yeah. We have to see that bill almost getting paid before we say, Lord, okay, I don't believe you. Right. But David, in spite of everything, in spite of all that was against him, he encouraged himself. Yeah. And I begin to ask you, well, God, but what is it? How was it that David was able to encourage himself from ground zero? God said it was his faith. Right. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Right. So it was the it was the stuff that David couldn't see that encouraged David. That's good. That the That's good. His faith That's good. Always shows you what's contradictive yeah. in the present. Yeah. That's faith good. Always shows you a different mirror of what's actually going on. Yeah. My situation says I should be depressed, but faith say hold your head. Yeah. Pull this up. 